All right, welcome back, guys. Oh man, the part two Nimbus update is so bad, bro. Like, like weapon users and maybe some vitality is like, eh. like if you don't care about like trying out new things, well, then again, it takes a lot of resource to do that. But we won't talk about that for now. But the last update was kind of let down. Well, for me personally. Oh, but now that the hype has set down, I don't know why I paused there. <laughs> we have more Disco poses. So we have Dark Sea, Mini Boss, CY events, non story bosses, and player fleets, which I think is the most interesting part, probably, maybe, or not, besides the Dark Sea. So. But for player fleets, I probably won't look into it, but it's basically when you sink a ship, right, player or NPC or not, you can add it to your crew or fleet by, like, I don't know, paying them galleon and whatever, right? And that's about it. And you get, like, reward, like, fish or galleons passively. <laughs> I assume that's how that works. It doesn't really say much. But that's why I looked it through. Now, let's move on to the Dark Sea, the most exciting part. Gotta save the best for last. Oh, yeah. Now, it says current Dark Sea feature. Yeah, these are the lightning. Oh, God, I hate the. Guys, everybody hates lightning. Water poisoning? Ah, why? You know? Uh, let's just ignore those. <laughs> oh, Silence Rock. Ser Seren's Rock. God, what a curse for a nightmare. What a nightmare. I hate that place. You get rammed by like so many ships. Hate it. And planned it. The Planted Dark Sea Editions. Atlantean Sirens? Oh shit, okay. In the far reaches, even in even Greek mythology. Oh my god, I don't know I'm tripping. Every time I record this, it's in the morning. The Greek mythology. Oh my god, whatever. I'm just gonna call a mist creature. <laughs> I didn't drink water, nor am I prepared for this. Oh. Uh, Anyways, myth creatures are affected by the dense energy, dense magic energy actually. These would differ visually to regular siren and have unique draw. Uh, that's very vague what, what they mean by unique draw, right? Unsure what kinds of ability they would use. Sure, whatever. I mean, sounds like hell. And then Siren Alliance quest. Rarely in the Dark Sea, you can stumble upon the Siren Queen's lair. Upon entering and defeating some Siren, the Queen will talk to you, cares about your strength, and ask for your assistance. After completing her quest, you are rewarded with the Siren crew for your ship. Oh! And from then on, no regular Sirens will attack you in the Dark Sea. Oh! Damn, that's going to change a lot of things. It means we're going to have to kick out a crew member of our ship, right? Potentially, maybe. I don't know. Maybe you can just recruit them and like equip them as like a... You know how the ship work, guys. Because you can equip the crewmate or not and whatever. So, okay, yeah, let's go. I mean, more upgrades, so. Next, we have Atlantean Crop Dragons. Let's go! Finally, some dragon species in the fantasy game, right? Um, now let's see. The Draconis species, after being exposed to constant radiation of the Dark Sea, has mutated and became a hollow shell of its former glory. Big words, oh my god. Mutation on these dragon causes some bonus to them. Stronger breath attacks, fine tail, etc. However, a drawback as well. Cripple wings, blind, front throw, making their dragon breath leak out passively rather than an attack. What do they mean? That's not a drawback. That's literally a buff, bro. What are you talking about? Bro has AOE damage, and he said that's a drawback. Like story-wise, maybe, but like in-game-wise, we're gonna die. Oh my goodness. Anyways, smaller non-mutated dragons will appear at Insanity 1. Oh wait, so it's not in the far reaches. 
So far reaches is like Sandy is 3 and above I believe, right? Somebody can confirm it, but if I remember correctly, that's like Sandy 3 and above. So, um, yay! Now, and with each range, will increase in size and amount of mutations. That's for like the small dragons and whatever, right? Some guys, some dragons will have dub dub dub. Oh no, not the curse word. Some dragons will have unique names and even be intelligent enough to use magic to amplify their attacks. Well, what about talking? Why can't we talk it out? No, whatever. <laughs> now, ne oh, next one is cool. Dragon Blood Ritual. After slaying a dragon, it is said in Greek mythology that bathing bathing in its blood gives you the power of a demigod. Doing this in Arcane Odyssey could give some kind of small base stat increase to your character permanently and maybe give a title. That sounds broken. Like maybe you get dragon wings or horns or something like um, I don't know like a half dragon. That sounds cool. Um, but hold on guys, actually the dragons are corrupted, you know, so like I don't know how this is gonna work. But maybe some of the dragons are not corrupted, but then again, like Darcy is pretty crazy, so anything can happen. So I'm not, I'm gonna ignore the, uh, you know, the flaws, questionable, the questionable flaws, potentially, potentially. Um, unique Atlantean behavior is what does that mean? Well, I'm about to read it, but. Atlanteans of nightmarish grade and up gains unique ability related to the Atlantean style. So, I assume that's like above Sandy too. I forgot how what's nightmarish. Above three, I assume it's in the far reaches. So they have infected bite, a grand move where oh god ah blah. oh a grand move where Atlantean with mutated heads. Or arms can rip off your limbs and eat it to regain their HP. Ooh, damn. If this grab is inflicted, inflicted as a killing blow, the animation instead by your kicker's head. Oof. Damn. They never gave you the heads up for that one. <laughs> okay, kill me now. And next one is Hypnotic Gaze. Atlanteans with, with angular head. Burfish man? Okay, yeah, can stand in place and charge in hypnotic cone type attack, causing insanity, insanity to be elevated by one, and your energy speed and casting are slowed. So, like a debuffer. Um, and an urchin venom Atlantean. Okay. Atlantean with the urchin arm can cause slam attacks, shooting their urchin spines and radius around them, damaging themselves in the process. So these are like unique mobs, but they never explain what you get for it. So I'm assuming you get unique drop like the sirens, right? In the far reaches, questionable, maybe okay. Um, let's see, right? Oh boy, I'm not looking forward to fighting them because AOE attack from the urchin Atlantean sounds like nightmare. Anything else, like, meh, we can deal with it, right? <laughs> now, moving on to Dark Sky, what? Sky Islands in the Dark Sea has been, have, has been discovered. Volcanoes can cause air vents, allowing you to glide up to some of the islands. Oh, okay. Finally, some uses for the volcano, because... Volcano is basically useless right now, currently in the dark sea, right? The dark sky is an ever-growing cloud here that permanently blocks the sun. The cloud increases in amount per layer, so... It, in Sandy 1, 2, and 3, I assume, whatever, right? And eventually covering any sea, any sight of sea below. I guess this is all lore that is really cloudy, right? Conditions are harsh. And are home to many mutated monsters that learned to survive there. Um, okay. Okay. And they can drop unique loot to the dark sky. And you 
you can travel the islands with a sky ship. Okay. That's attached it to your ship's mass. Unlocked it by the fleet system. Oh, so this is where they came in. Or where they come in, my bad. Um, Dark Sky Island sounds crazy, but I'm looking forward to that. Besides the dragons, guys. Like, oh boy. Um, that's crazy. Maybe we'll put that in the thumbnail or title. <laughs> and then underwater st structures. Okay. But it's basically dark sea. But, you know, dark water structure, right? <laughs> there, there's not much to say about it. Like, But it's in inhabited by uh, sea beasts that we don't have in the normal sea yet. Like the bronze sea, we don't have any sea beasts. Well, we do, but I don't know if you call them beasts. I guess you do. No mind. But yeah, underwater structure with sea beasts. Cool. And next, we have Book of Athena or Book of Wisdom. An NMT book that can obtain when you find the first wisdom scrap. These will spawn in new structure in the Dark Sea, perhaps same structure that dragon spawns on. Ooh, ooh. Each reach would display information about something that's very that's not very well known by NPCs, such as the weather phenomenon, origin of the Dark Sea, sirens. Ooh, dragon, spirit energy, and more. Each phrase you collect would be added to the book and save with your data permanently. Maybe a unique title or something for finding all pages. So basically lore, but you can collect them. Kinda useless, but um... Like, you know, gameplay wise, but lore is very nice if you guys are interested in that. Oh, uh, and next one, how do you spell this? Satars? I don't know, I, I don't know what they mean. But, they basically spawn in dark sea- wait, let me just google this, like, what are these? Oh, they're basically like, goatmen. Right? How do you s spell it? Uh, Satars. Satars? Oh, uh, okay, no mind. Oh, I was completely wrong. <laughs> but satyrs spawn in dark sea on forest islands in packs of three. With appearance of man torso, but the legs, horn, ears, tails of a goat. Yeah, makes sense. They explain it there. If we're using spear weapon of ancient wood and shapes of staffs and wand, created by Pan, the god of the wild. And oh. And the goatman in the far rage, because I forgot the name already. <laughs> the goatman in the far rage would be mutated with different appearance and ability. I assume you get like what we had earlier with the unique Atlantean behaviors, right? Like something similar to that. The spirit weapon will have green emerald like aura and have one or two unique skill each. Not sure what properties Pan Spirit would have. So like I assume like elements or something or like a stat, right? They could also drop um, essence item that can be brewed as potion regions or catalyst, I guess. Uh, okay, sure, whatever. More potion ingredient because it confuses me sometimes. <clears throat> oh no, I need water. We've been talking for a little bit. Which would, okay, which would cause the player's character to get permanently smaller or larger. So the goldman can drop crystals to make potions that can buff you or debuff you permanently. Okay, so smaller or larger can affect your base health, base attack size, base agility. Each use would probably change your size by 5%. And it will cap out at 15% smaller or larger. Damn. Okay, that's cool. But, okay. Um, dragon, like, blood mechanics ritual. And some goatman potion mechanic. 
Uh, cool. Now moving on to the centaurs and the minotaur, basically, right? Um, the upper party of large man and the lower body of large horse. Oh no, it's not minotaur. It's horses, centaurs. Yeah. My big brain couldn't think. They could use unique strength weapons such as great bow, as well as have charging attacks where they run you over. Some found in far reaches or further could be Atlantean corrupted with different drops. I assume they could draw like a great bow and you can maybe use it if you have like increased size, right? Or some, you know, you need to be big enough to use it. That could be a cool mechanic, right? That, that's just what I think, right? It's probably not true. But cool horsemen and goatmen to make it simpler, right? And dragons so far. Um, and then their later revamps and additions. I don't know how they're gonna revamp this. I mean, like the Starcy barely came out, but okay. Far Reach, which is revamp island generation in the Far Reach could be changed. It into making the islands larger but more mutated and unpredictable while also home to higher tier Atlanteans as anything can be corrupted in the far reaches. Biome could be more hazardous along with different hazardous weather condition. Right. And Epic Center completion. As the center of the Dark Sea and the original sources or source of magic storm is home to legendary pieces that prowl the island the prone the island and the big center will have all manners of weather condition and monster roaming the water and land around it no lantern ship can sail this far leaving only the apex predator of the dark sea right what do you mean like oh no lantern ship because i'm like the players are gonna reach it so Okay. And then moving on with the Dark Abyss. With the Fleet System Edition, it allows you to unlock the Diving Bell. The Diving Bell can be used in Dark Sea and allows you to control your ship. From the Diving Bell, allow you to ex allowing you to explore areas that are deeper than the sea floor within stretches. Each way causes sea floor to be lowered dramatically eventually being so deep that you cannot traverse it and light will never grace it uh bioluminescence and horrifying mutation of sea creatures lie here right i'm not sure this is gonna work is this gonna send us to another dimension right like we just jump in like a portal like which is like the trenches or something well, I mean, this is gonna be like way later for like later revamps. For now, we can ignore that and like be happy with the dragon blood ritual and the goatman potion and maybe the siren alliance quest because those three are the most important, I would say, right? In gameplay wise, right? Because I mean, I'm not really a fan of underwater sea structures, so like a little bit biased here, but. That's cool. Yo, like dragons? That's sick. Man. Well, I'm like more hyped up now compared to like the Nimbus part 2 update. Um, if that makes any sense. Or if it's the part 2, I don't even know anymore. 